Hey, welcome to Ultimate Survival Tips. I'm David. Immersed in Ultimate Survival Tips planning, really excited about some of the cool stuff we have coming up, like a few awesome gear giveaway contests and a new video series on how to build a bug out bag. So before I forget, make sure you subscribe to this channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter so you get the latest news on our video releases and cool gear giveaway contests. Okay, well today we're going to take a look at what may be the best knife that Gerber has released to date in the Bear Grylls line of gear, new Bear Grylls Paracord Knife. Along the way, we'll compare this knife to a few other blades from this line, talk about who this knife is for and who should grab a different blade. And before we're all done, I'll tie this knife to a branch and make it into a spear, change the paracord, we'll also do a little bushcraft. Well, let's jump in. Bear Grylls Paracord Fixed Blade Knife is one solid piece of good quality gray coated stainless steel from tip to butt. The paracord knife comes with this versatile kydex like sheath, about 45 inches of orange paracord for the handle, and the Bear Grylls Priorities of Survival Pocket Guide. The knife measures just about 7 and 3 quarter inches, the blade length is 3 and a quarter inches, the knife weighs 3.5 ounces without the sheath, or 5.75 ounces with the sheath. So this package is pretty light. The knife is full tang construction, meaning the blade steel runs the full length of the knife through the handle, and in this case, the blade still is the handle. And this handle is given grip, texture, and more substance through the use of this pretty good quality bright orange paracord. The Bear Grylls paracord knife has a fine edge, so we've got no serrations on this baby, and the edge terminates at this clip point. A clip point blade has the spine side of the blade clipped off to form a tip that is sharper and more suitable for piercing than most drop point blades yet is strong and is still good for tasks that require cutting accuracy and precision. See the difference between the Bear Grylls Paracord Knife Clip Point and the Bear Grylls Folding Sheath Knife's Drop Point. So the blade of this knife came very sharp and it was really easy to touch up after a little bit of use with the Bear Grylls Fill Sharpener. Between the edge and paracord handle, we have a finger cutout that should help keep your hand from slipping onto the blade. On the blade spine toward the handle, we have some notches that are called jimping. Jimping improves the grip of your thumb on the top of the knife. The thickness of this blade is around 0.17 inches or 4.3 millimeters, which is thicker than the Bear Grylls Folding Sheath Knife Blade at 0.16 inches and a bit thinner than the Bear Grylls Ultimate Survival Knife at 0.19 inches wide. So this is a pretty substantial knife for its size. Okay, now the Bear Grylls Paracord Knife is very similar to the Bear Grylls Compact Fixed Blade Knife, with the two big differences being the fine versus the partially serrated edge, and the paracord handle versus the solid handle. See? Now let's talk about the handle. The handle of the Bear Grylls Paracord Knife has five holes and two large cutouts that enable the primary task of wrapping about four foot of paracord through and around them to form the handle of this knife. But there's a few surprises here. Check this out. When you remove the paracord, it's pretty evident that the five holes in this handle were also placed so this knife could be easily lashed to a branch or pole to make a spear. Kind of like the Bear Grylls Ultimate Survival Knife and the Gerber LMF2. So you guessed it, I had to take this knife and lash it to a pole. So I used the paracord knife to cut a small tree. I removed the paracord, and then I used the holes and cutouts in this handle to lash the entire length of paracord to secure this knife to my pole. Okay, now a little tip. This knife's gonna lash best to a pole that is a slightly smaller diameter than the width of this handle. All right, now there's many different ways you could wrap the paracord around a stick in this knife to make it into a spear. But I suggest weaving the paracord through the cutouts, through the holes, and back through the cutouts, and then tying the paracord off on the butt end like this. Now the length of the stock paracord was perfect for locking the knife onto my pole without cutting it. It should be completely reusable as a knife handle as long as you don't cut it when you use it for other things. Now it's also easy to replace the stock paracord with whatever color and length you prefer. Since I like my knives to be a little bit less conspicuous, I replaced the paracord on this knife with good old OD green. Alright, now when I rewrap the handle, I got two extra wraps around the handle by pulling my mill spec paracord really tight as I wove it around the knife. Then I ran about six inches of extra cord out the butt end and tied it off to make a nice lanyard. So in the end I was able to get a full five foot of paracord or about 60 inches on my knife. Now one last thing about the handle. Since the metal is exposed on the butt end of this knife, you can use it as a pummel to break and smash things. 
Now let's talk about the sheath. Gerber stepped it up here and really improved on the previous sheath that came with a compact fixed blade knife. Now the paracord knife sheath is made out of what seems to be a very tough polymer top and bottom that are fused together and the whole sheath is reinforced with these six steel grommets that are strategically placed at major stress points around the sheath. Now the Bear Girls paracord knife goes into the sheath only one way and locks firmly into place. Now here's the cool part. The top four grommets are strategically positioned, so this polymer belt loop in the rear can be removed and repositioned using these two hex bolts for side draw, regular, upside down, and either left or right hand carry. Now oh, here's something else that's pretty cool. So if you'd prefer not to have the Bear Girls logo showing when you wear the paracord knife, you can also attach the belt carry loop to the front side of the sheath so that the Bear Girls logo is covered by the belt carry loop and facing in when you wear it. Now you can replace the stock orange paracord with the paracord color of your choice and you have an excellent, versatile paracord knife package that has the look that you want for your gear. Oh, one last thing with this knife and sheath package. The Bear Girls Pocket Survival Guide fits snugly and perfectly between the belt loop assembly and the sheath, see? For extra security when you carry the pocket guide this way, make sure you attach the belt loop so that the bolts are below the pocket guide, which should prevent the guide from falling out. Now let's take a look at owner comments. Owner comments seem to be very positive, citing the surprising quality, good edge holding characteristics, and the excellent design of the knife and sheath. Some mentioned how goofy they thought the sheath was initially, but how it all made sense when they got to using the knife. Others mentioned how quickly the bright orange paracord gets soiled. But most seem to agree that this knife is really worth having. We rate the Bear Girls Paracord Fixed Blade Knife at a very rare 5 out of 5 stars for its well thought out design from tip to butt, the durability of the steel, how easy it is to sharpen, and how well it keeps an edge. We love the full tank construction and the well thought out placement of the handle cutouts for the paracord and the added versatility of being able to easily and firmly lash this knife to a pole to make a spear. Although we also thought the sheath was a bit overkill at first, we now appreciate its ability to safely hold the knife and carry it in many different ways. I also like the fact that I can reposition the belt loop to cover over the Bear Girls logo, and I've always liked it when Gerber incorporates a way for the survival guide to be carried along. And the online street price of less than 29 bucks really sealed the deal on our 5 out of 5 star rating. Okay, so who is this knife for? The Bear Girls Paracord knife is perfect for hunting, camping, hiking, biking, just about any outdoor activity. It's a great secondary knife for bushcraft, a bug out bag, or an emergency kit. If you want a comparable fixed blade knife with a solid handle and a partially serrated blade, check out my review of the Bear Girls Compact Fixed Blade Knife. If you'd like a similarly sized folding knife, check out my reviews of the Bear Girls Folding Sheath Knife and the Bear Girls Scout Knife. But if you want a tough, lightweight, versatile, compact fixed blade knife that you can rely on in an emergency or for everyday use, or you're looking for a great gift and a cost of around $29 sounds good to you, the Bear Girls Paracord Knife is a really sweet blade to consider. So we've just taken a look at the Gerber Bear Girls Paracord Fixed Blade Knife. For your convenience, I've included links to all the gear that I've mentioned in the video description on YouTube. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel and for more gear reviews, survival tips, and survival news, check out ultimatesurvivaltips.com. While you're there, grab our monthly survival e-mag, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and get the latest news, and be the first to hear about the great gear giveaway contests we have planned. Okay, this is David. I hope to see you on the other side, and remember, be prepared, because you never know.